Not something new or unheard of. It's really a sign of the times. Meeting that special someone or not so special someone on a dating app. But can you really have love at first swipe? Elena Chappie has details. Maybe you're one of the over 300 million people looking for love online. It starts with a simple, Hi, how are you? And blossoms into something beautiful. It was kind of history after that. Or a dating nightmare. I probably hold the world record for being catfished. Everyone's story is different. You have to decide like, okay, so is the question, how do I find love? How do I find a partner? But expecting to find the one on your first swipe. I think that's like a cart before the horse kind of issue. And that's exactly what Jackie Sauls made sure not to do. What I looked at was, you know, what they were looking for and what they were looking to do. Saul says she made her intentions clear. I have a lot of aspirations that I want to complete in my life. Something psychotherapist Andrew Ebert says matters in the beginning. What do I want from this? What do you want from this? And kind of talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, and again, like doing the dance, you know, like being flexible, taking it slow. Saul says for her, it wasn't love at first swipe. I mean, it definitely takes time to weed through them. But going on some dates and getting rid of the bad apples led her to her match. We started dating. We got engaged on our first anniversary in February. So it's actually right around the corner. Um, so we were dating about two years and then got married. But not every dating app experience ends in wedding bells. This local woman said, I met a man on a dating app. He had no business being on it since he already had a girlfriend. I didn't know that though, but during our relationship, I was constantly getting sick. Come to find out, he gave me a staph infection. Just one example of why you really have to be super careful. We're communicating more than ever, but we're not connecting. Lucky for Jackie, she picked a winner. Taking those risks kind of led me to where I am today, and it was still worth it. Live Local Now, Elena Chappie, Heartland News. If you use dating apps, Ebert encourages users to always take safety precautions when meeting a stranger off the Internet.